wherever the sole of your feet shall step shall be given to you. By redemption, you are meant to dominate and conquer wherever you find yourself. As a child of God, you should be the head and not the tail by the rights and privileges of redemption. You should be above only and not beneath. You are not supposed to be beggarly or pitiable. Because God has ordained you to constantly be at the top, and more than a conqueror always. In Romans, chapter 8, verse 37. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So by the redemptive right and privileges, we are unconquerable, indefatigable, and invincible, because God loves us, and wishes to do us good always. And he always ensures he protects and preserves whatever he gives us. In fact, he prioritizes your welfare over those without him. He considers you first in his distribution of the abundance of the earth, which is his. As the scripture rightly says, in Psalms 24, from verses 1 to 2. The earth is the Lord's, and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the waters. So the world is the Lord's and you are most favored to receive of him as you can claim or demand of him. He told Joshua, in Joshua, chapter 1, verse 3, and said, Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. In another word, he has the right of choice of ownership to as much as he can claim. In accordance with God's will for him. The same equally applies to the obedient children of God of today. In Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 3, he says, For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Saba in your place. That means you are God's preferred. That he can even give out others as a ransom for you, to secure you and to satisfy you. So go out there and lay claim to what you desire, and what he promised you and he will release them to you. Stop sitting and watching, go and lay claim to your desires with faith, and the Lord will grant them to you because he is very much interested in you, your welfare, and your well-being. He says, wherever the sole of your feet shall tread, in another word, anywhere you choose, or anyone you choose, he gives it to you, because you are precious in his eyes, and you are in his agenda and program. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of glory, Lord, I come unto you again at this hour, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father Lord, for my listeners, that you grant them access to all their redemption rights and privileges. Give them whatever choices that they have made that are not wrong in your sight and for them. Lord, wherever you have placed them, or that they have found themselves, Lord, cause them to dominate, cause them to prosper, cause them to enjoy the goodnesses thereof. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says in Daniel 11, verse 32. Those who do wickedly against the covenant he shall corrupt with flattery, but the people who know their God shall be strong, and carry out great exploits. Lord, cause them to begin to exploit wherever they find themselves. Child of God, exploit financially, exploit academically, exploit materially, exploit in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Cause everyone under my voice today, to exploit their various fields of endeavors. In the name of Jesus Christ. Exploit in careers, exploit in your businesses, exploit in your relationships, exploit in your marriages, exploit in everything you set your hands to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, grant them full control and possession of all that you have given them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, for all they have got, is what you have given them. For none receives anything except is given by you, according to St. John, chapter 3, verse 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. Therefore, dear Lord, as you have given them, empower them to take full control and possession of the gifts, talents, and blessings upon their life to their fullest benefit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In accordance with your word of Joshua, chapter 1. Verse 3. That, every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given you, as I said to Moses. Dearest Lord, grant them the grace to take back every grace that they have either lost or been robbed of by the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
restore their glories, fortunes, gifts, talents, and every grace that you have embedded in them, that have either been stolen, misused, killed, or destroyed by the enemy, the devil, whom your word says in John, chapter 10, verse 10. That the thief does not come except to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. Father, restore unto my listeners, life in its abundance, in every area of their life that is not flourishing as you have planned for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you say, Lord, in Joel chapter 2, verses 25 through 27. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming, a locust has eaten. The crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Therefore, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree all round restoration unto everyone under my voice today. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as they step out today, let them possess the gates of their enemies. Whatever demands they shall make today, Lord, may it not be turned down. Father, let them receive in the platter of gold all their demands and desires today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and declare unto you my dearest listener, every opposition against you, is hereby crumbled and crushed. In the name of Jesus Christ, every weapon formed to harm or destroyed you is hereby disabled and destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, from henceforth, you shall not know or see shame or disappointments again in your existence. In the name of Jesus Christ, every plot, scheming and manipulation against you is stifled, scuttled, and nullified. In the name of Jesus Christ, as it is written, in 2 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 31. Then someone told David, saying, Ahithophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O Lord, I pray, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, every counsel of Ahitophel, or what represents a counsel of Ahitophel in your life, child of God, I hereby turn them into foolishness. In the name of Jesus Christ, every plot or counsel with the intent of discrediting you, or harming and hurting you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I turned it into foolishness. In the name of Jesus Christ, every contention of the devil against your blessings, prosperity, promotion, and general well-being, ends now in your favor and victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, for it is written, in Isaiah 49, verses 25 and 26. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will save your children. I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. All flesh shall know, that I, the Lord, am your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every evil contention against you and your possessions. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, according to your word of Isaiah 54, verses 15 through 17. Indeed they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the blacksmith, who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the spoiler to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is for me, says the Lord. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, every gang ups and conspiracy against you ends now, to the shame and disappointment of the conspirators. In the name of Jesus Christ, every weapon formed or intended to bring you down is hereby disabled and destroyed, in the name of Jesus Christ. And in accordance with Numbers 23, verse 23. For there is no, a sorcery against Jacob, nor any, be divination against Israel. It now must be said of Jacob, and of Israel, oh, what God has done. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
Every enchantment, divination, abracadabra, and a magic statement against you, is hereby cancelled, counteracted, and annulled, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil programming against you by the devil, his demons, and their cohorts, is hereby disabled and reversed to their shame and destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every god of the land, or anything opposed to the possessions of your possessions, comes under God's judgment now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I revoke and reverse every curse and siege against your blessings and breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and prophesy unto you, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you. Your children and offspring shall possess the gate of the enemies. You shall not lack any good thing in life that you desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your position today shall be the least of the positions you ever held in life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, it shall be for you from now, from glory to glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall never lack what to use to live the type of life you desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall favor you in the morning, afternoon, night, and all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, listen. The last shame, dishonor, and reproach you saw are the last, you will ever see in this life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father Lord, for your answer to this prayer, for in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.